Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please consider subscribing. My name is Yadi, and in today's video, I am taking you inside of the treatment room with me, this time to show you a brow lamination demo. I am using the Eyelash Hero Lifting System. So sit back and relax and let me know what you think. We're jumping right in and I am starting off by cleansing the brow area first. I am using just a regular clean and easy pre-wax cleansing solution. There are many brands on the market for this service, so be sure to follow whichever brand you are working with instructions. I showed you at the beginning of the video that we are working with Eyelash Hero. One of my students actually purchased this entire kit at the trade show and here we are she's wanting to learn how to do it and so we're doing a demo now i am starting off by using the brow protector i'm using a q-tip for the application the product comes in this neat little tray of course with all of the steps and you're actually able to use this lifting system on both lashes and brows here I am using a tiny little dental brush. You will see me brush the brows up a lot. If you are wondering what is eyebrow lamination anyway, think of it as a straight perm for the eyebrows. It is going to help smooth out your brows and give it a fluffier effect. Obviously you are able to tent them, which we will be doing in this demo along with waxing them. Now, if someone has very, very sensitive skin, it is really not recommended. Someone who has uh, eczema, for example, or has a history of contact dermatitis, some potential side effects will be swelling, redness, maybe peeling, a little bit of itchiness, and bumps. Now, a lot of times when someone gets waxing done, which we will see here, um, clients tend to get a histamine reaction, which is common, but usually after about an hour, the swelling and the bumps tend to go down. All right, so in this step, I am actually applying the lifting balm, and the lifting balm is going to stay on her brows for six minutes. So make sure you are keeping track of time. Now we apply the Ceram Wrap over them and let them process. Time to remove the lifting balm and I'm going back with my micro brush and I am brushing the hairs up. This is your opportunity to reform the hair and the direction that it is going. So be very thorough with your application, with your removal, everything. Being very precise with your work, it's what's going to give you amazing results. I am using a dry cotton round first to remove our lifting serum, followed by a damp cotton round. Make sure that it's not overly wet. You do wanna make sure you get everything off properly, but you do not want to saturate your brows with water either. So dry first and then damp. Thank you. 
Now time to apply our volumizing fix. Again, I am working with a Q-tip. You can use any applicator of your choice. Um, this is just what I had in hand, but you can use something else. I will be keeping the volumizing fix on the brows for six minutes, then removing the exact same way we removed the lifting balm. It's going to sit for six minutes. We're going to apply the ceram wrap, then removing with dry cotton round and then damp. And yes, this was a team effort here. While I continue removing, let's discuss a little bit about aftercare. Clients should keep the area dry and free of any oil, makeup, gels, anything that is waterproof for the first 24 hours. Now, if you're wondering how often should someone get brow lamination done, I would say anywhere six to eight weeks is safe. It's now time to wax and we are waxing outside of our concealer line. If you know me, then you know I really do like using the really skinny spatulas to wax eyebrows. I feel like they are more precise. When it comes to waxing brows, you really want to take your time. If you are starting out, doing the mapping will really help you get the shape that you desire without removing hair that you actually want to keep and not over waxing. I know some people think I'm crazy when I say take your time. Here's where I am with that. When you are new or when you are a student in training, the focus should be on doing the work properly and not really focusing on speed. When you have mastered something and you build experience, that speed comes along with that. But you have to start off by knowing how to do the service correctly and be happy with your own work. And then speed will simply follow based on the more experience, the more practice you get. So focus on perfecting your craft, everything else will follow.
Here I'm applying an Azulene oil. Now mind you, this is on her skin. This is not being applied on the hair. I'm applying this to help soothe and calm her skin. Time to tent. I am using Refectosil. I have my Dappen dish and I used the number one, which is the black color, along with the number three, which is natural brown. I'm applying the product all throughout her brows. And in this case, I let it sit for only five minutes. I did not want them to be super dark. I felt five minutes was appropriate for the look we were going for. using a q-tip to clean around them And the last and final step, I am applying the Moisturizing Serum. Here I am brushing and styling the brows in the direction that I want them to go. And now it is time to add a little pop of concealer under the brow and we are all done. We were very happy with the result. Her brows look amazing. She looks beautiful and we were very, very excited. It looks so good. And that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if this is a service that you are currently offering or is this something that you may possibly offer in the near future. Um, let me know what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to keep going, keep growing, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.